How's it going everybody? Drifty here from Driftwood Gaming and this is going to be a tutorial on how to use Yanfly's icon generator. Alright, to get started you want to go to yanfly.mo, go over to tools, and then scroll down until you see Yanfly icon generator. <clears throat> Select the, either one of these links, right click and save link as. When that file is finished downloading, you're just going to double click it. What's cool about this uh, program is it's a standalone thing. Uh, it's, it looks like it was uh, packaged with an Enigma box. So you won't have to install it. You just put the file wherever you want, double click on it, and let it load. Uh, so getting started, you'll probably click on new icon sheet. But since I've already made some icons to show you, I'm going to load one. To start off, you're going to have uh, this basic template all the way down to here on this row. Uh, everything after that are, are icons that I've created for the Dungeons of Driftwood. And uh, I'm going to continue to expand the way down uh, to add new stuff. So let's just go over everything really quickly. To do new sheet and start over from scratch, you would just click on new sheet once with the left click. And it'll open up a new sheet. To open another sheet, you just click on... Uh, the open sheet and it'll ask you to open an icon sheet you can say yes or no it's gonna bring you to the load screen which you can just load it'll ask if you want to clear it yes or no you can barely see those commands but the first option on the left is the, is the confirm and the one on the right is the uh, cancel when you've made your changes to your sheet you can left click on save sheet and it'll uh, let you put it in any of the file slots that are given there We'll just create a new one here on file 3. And then it saved it to that uh, sheet. So next time you open up the program, you can um, just load the sheet you've been working on. To clear sheet, you just press uh, clear sheet. It'll ask if you want to clear it. Say yes. It erases everything. So you can start from scratch. This is a good way to go if you uh, already have, you know what ones you're going to make and you want to have it all in, in one order. Let's go ahead and open sheet. Open an icon sheet. Yes. On the left side we'll be able to load and restore our previous settings. Uh, cut icon is basically going to you can left uh, left click anywhere right here. Let, let's take this one right here and we're gonna click on cut icon and you see it removed it but it stored it on the clipboard so if we were to uh, paste icon it'll put it back down. Also you can copy an icon select on an empty slot and paste an icon so you can use that little icon as your template for your next one. Um, to clear an icon without putting it on the clipboard, you just click on clear icon and it'll get rid of that for you. To insert an icon, what that's going to do is add one. You can see we have a perfect row down here, but if we were to anywhere right here insert an icon, it's just going to add one more. Uh, to delete an icon, we would just click on the same thing. Or you can also use the text commands and do shortcuts that way with the keyboard. Moving on to the next thing, we can cut a whole row. We have some empty space right here. If we want to cut a row, we'll select where we, what row we want to cut and we can click on cut row and it'll basically remove all of those. We can also copy an entire row and then go down to the next one and paste the entire row and you can see we have this entire thing. So let's illustrate cut again. Cut this whole row. So we can cut and paste, we can copy paste, we can clear, we can insert a new row. So let's do that, click on insert row, and you can see we've, it's added a whole other row of blank icons. We can add a row, and it does the same thing. We can delete a whole row uh, as well. Pretty simple, straightforward stuff. To Once you've made your icons and you want to start exporting, we have uh, options over here. So if we wanted to edit an icon, we can select it and click on edit icon and go back with the cancel button if we wanted to, or we can double click it. Um, sometimes when you double click, if you if there's any delay, it'll move your icon. So uh, basically you can double click without it being selected and it'll work perfectly. Uh, if you were to have it selected and double click, it might move what you're selecting on. So you can basically left click on it and once it's highlighted, just left click on it once and then it'll go into without moving anything around. Uh, we can also use the enter key to shortcut that into there. 
to export our icons once we've finished, we can choose to export in many different ways. Uh, RPG Maker VX and VX Ace uses 24 by 24 pixel icons. So if we were making these, uh, this for VX, we would just and we wanted to just make one icon, we can export that one icon. Then it's going to ask you for the file name, and you can just select that file name. Once again, the the left hand selection is your um, confirm, and the right selection is is cancel, and it's not. Uh, perfectly clear. Um, you can't read it, but you know, left is confirm and the right is, is cancel. So once it's exported, it's going to output it to wherever the the program is is actually being run from. Uh, so for me, it goes into RPG Maker MV, and then it puts everything in a folder called output. So just search for the folder output, or when you install the program and you run it, uh, wherever you put it, it's going to create that folder of output. And we can see that I have, uh, where is it at? The Yanfly icon generator in this directory, in my MV directory. So inside of this directory, wherever the executable file is stored, that's where the output folder will be. So if you're looking for it, just you know look to where you downloaded the program and you're executing it from. And then inside the output folder are going to be the icon sheets and the single icon. So right here, we've exported a single 24 by 24 PNG that we can uh, open up and paint, GIMP, Photoshop, and then copy and paste that to the icon set. We're going to get to that in just a second. Same thing for the 32 by 32 icon, um, except this time it's going to output um, the same icon but in a higher resolution for MV. If we wanted to export an entire, uh, the entire icon set for VXACE, which will make all of these icons 24 by 24, we'll export the sheet and then we can name it whatever you want. I would recommend giving this, uh, uh, renaming this to this icon set and just copy pasting if you're going to just be taking some and adding to your existing. That way you're not overwriting your entire. Of course it's going to put it in the output folder so you would actually have to copy paste and it's not going to mess up your game by saving it as icon set.png unless you copy it from the output folder into your system folder. So let's talk about how to do that. So say we've made all of our icons and we want to uh, to fully replace our icon sheet with the one we've created. We would export this as an MV sheet for RPG Maker MV and we would name it whatever we want. You know, you could use the date or whatever. We'll just say um, 111. So we're going to say this is icon set 111.png and then we'll go to our output folder. And now we have this icon set.png. If we wanted to uh, uh, fully replace ours, then you would need to have this exact name as icon set.png. Uh, so we would copy that and we'll go into our folder where our game is at. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, all you have to do is open up your game, go to this uh, tab called game, go to open folder, and there you are. So inside this folder, we're going to open up the IMG folder, then we're going to go into the system folder, and then we would paste it here. Now I'm not going to overwrite my icon set with this one, so I'm going to go cancel, but you would copy and keep both files, or you would... Um, you know, overwrite and replace. It's up to you. Uh, I would keep them both because it's not a huge file size. It's like, you know, a few megabytes. And you could always cut it and paste it into a different directory when you export your game for deployment and stuff. Now, say you want to keep your icon set, uh, but you want to add stuff to it as well. How would you go about doing that? Well, you're going to need to either use Paint, GIMP, or Photoshop. I'm using Photoshop, but it'll work in Microsoft Paint or any any application because it's basically you're just copying a section and pasting a section. That's all you're doing. So in order for me to do this, um, we'll go through the steps. We'll export the entire sheet, as it, which I've already done. Open up our folder for where it's being output to. And we're going to open up that icon set that we just created. And for me, I'm going to open it up with Photoshop. So we'll go to open. Go to wherever it is that you've stored the file. In my case, it's RPG Maker MV output. Now I'm going to open up this icon set. So now here we have our icon set, and depending on which you know uh, image editing software you're using, it'll be a little different. For Photoshop, you just press Control Plus to zoom in, 
and we're going to select this tool. This is basically going to be in every every uh, image editing software. Uh, it's just a marquee tool. It is going to let you select a certain selection of what you want. So say we've added um, maybe these two rows. We want to zoom in if we if it's possible, and you'll figure out how to do it on with your uh, application so that you can get kind of pixel perfect. And we're going to left click and highlight the entire row we want. Once we've got that highlighted, we're going to copy that. And the way I like to do that is with Control and C. So I've, I've copied that whole row right there. So now what I'm going to do is keep this open. You could close it if you want. But we're going to open up uh, the system uh, icon set that we're actually using. So we're going to go into our game folder. Once again, you can open up your project and go into game open folder and it'll put you here. Um, so you know where it's at. Go in there with your image editing software and go to the IMG system folder and open up your icon set.png that you're using for your game. And you can see mine's much larger because I've added all of uh, Yanfly's freebie icons as well as some custom ones that I've made. Then we're going to, uh, well, if you don't have any space, what you can do is change the size. So we can go to image and we'll go to uh, image size. Actually, I think it's canvas size. Yeah, we're going to adjust the canvas size. And in paint, you just basically left click and drag it down in the bottom right corner. Uh, we're going to, if you're using Photoshop, then um, you can set the anchor point and do it this way. So I like to set the anchor point right there so that we're adding the pixels, uh, these open spots right here. So we're moving our anchor from the center to here. Otherwise, charge it and, and make it uh, offset. So whenever you're making changes to your system's icon set, save it as a different file first and then or make a backup of your original. Always make a backup of your original. That's the biggest piece of advice when you're editing your any image. Make a backup of the original and then edit that. So you have multiple copies and you always have a fallback. But what we're going to do is select pixels and since we know we're using 32 by 32, we can just add 32 to the height. Now the width you're going to keep the same. It's going to be 512 pixels across, but we're going to add something to the height. So we're going to add 32 pixels to the height. So 40 plus 32, that's 72. So we'll change this 40 to 72. And then we're going to hit OK. And you can see all this did was add another row to the bottom. So we have more room to play with. Now we still have our um, marquee selection from right here copied. So what we want to do is on this image, our, um, the one we're using in the game, use our marquee tool and select the same size of what you copied. So you might want to zoom in so you can get a good look at exactly where you're at to get it pixel perfect. And then we're going to left click. In the top left. And if it doesn't look quite right, you can just left click again until you get it just right. Uh, <clears throat> details will matter. If it's off by a pixel or two, it won't really matter too much. But if it's off by too many pixels, it'll offset them and it won't look right when you look when they when they're drawn in the game. So right here, we've got our selection of 32 by 512 across. Now, all I'm going to do is, is left click. Um, actually, I'm going to press Control V. This will be easier to do with, with keyboard. So Control V, and it's put it right there. The reason why it's offset right here is because we've got empty space. Um, so if you have empty space, you see how I've got this one selected? We want to eliminate that. So we'll do the same thing again with our marquee tool. Uh, before I actually save any changes, I want to take a step backwards. So I'm going to go to my original icon set, edit, undo, or step backwards. So it removed what I've done right there. So let's do that again. We'll go to our icon set. We're going to select the icons we want. Try to get it as, as uh, pixel perfect as possible. Control C. We'll go to our icon and select where we want to put them. And I believe right there would be perfect. So now we're going to press Control V. Yeah, and that would work fine. 
one or two pixels won't matter because there is room uh, the way the Anfly designed it there's room uh, extra space in between them so you have a few extra pixels to play with but try to get it as perfect as possible but now we would add that and we would save this as the PNG icon set dot PNG and then when we load it in game I'm actually gonna undo this because I don't need two rows of the same thing but you see how you would do it you would save that as icon set dot PNG inside your system folder Remember to keep a backup of your original. Uh, and then once you have that, you would just save your game. And then when you go to your icons for skills or items or weapons or whatever, double click your icon and you'll see that it updated and you have all those extra icons that you just created inside your icon set.png. Then you can select those for custom weapons and armors and really cool spell effects and and it just adds another layer of customization to the game that you really want to differentiate so that people don't just see this and immediately be like, okay, I've seen this a million times. It looks different. I'm like, oh, well, I, this is sort of familiar, but it's a little bit different. So you want to stand out a little bit by adding custom icons to your weapons and armors. But that's basically it. Once you're done with it, you can uh, save your save the entire sheet you know, as a backup. And this is saving it inside the program itself and once again this program is being like enigma box which means like it's all in one executable so the file that's being saved is inside the executable itself so you won't be able to like uh, copy your icon set and put it into here and then edit from there so that's one uh, the only um, the only thing I wish that we would be able to import I would like to be able to import um, we have the export options maybe in version 1.2 or 3 or 4 or something we'll have an import option to import our icon set into the executable enigma box file that's a lot of words but thank you guys so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed this tutorial on how to use Yanfly's icon generator um, once again uh, thank you guys so much. Give it a thumbs up, like, favorite, share, subscribe if you enjoy this sort of content and would like to see more. Until the next time, we will see you. Peace.